How would you define marketing in your own words? Okay, so marketing, the way I understand it, is there's a difference between marketing, advertising, and branding. Branding is people's gut feeling about a product, a, a, a company, or an organization, or a person. So that's what your brand is. It's, it's what people say uh, about you. It's public perception. So the art and science of branding is influencing public perception about you. Um, marketing and advertising are part of branding because what you do advertising-wise will give people a perception about your brand. What you do marketing-wise will give people a, a perception about your brand. Advertising is all about awareness and name recognition. And so you think billboards, think ads in a paper, think uh, TV commercials, um, think just getting the word out there as often as, as you can. So it's all about awareness. We're marketed to, or we're advertised to rather, I think it's like 3,000 times per day. And so we've kind of grown numb to advertising unless it's very, um, it's very compelling, right? So you have to kind of like shock and awe people or just really stand out. And so that's the key to advertising. But marketing, the difference in marketing is the, the goal is to start a conversation. And so marketing is, is, is really your attempt of starting conversation with the people that you're trying to target. And so there's at least two ways of doing this. There's inbound and outbound marketing, right? So inbound, the way I, I compare it to is like dating, right? So if, if I were on the market, uh, you know, which been a long time since that's happened, so I'd be very awkward in it, right? But uh, you know, let's say you go to a party. Inbound marketing is like you position yourself so attractive to where your prospect is gonna come and start the conversation with you. So you're looking fly, you're smelling good, you're outgoing and gregarious, and you catch their attention, and you have something that compels them to come to you and, and initiate that conversation. So that's inbound marketing. Outbound marketing is the awkward thing that everybody hates to do. It's the wallflower. Well, you, you have to take the first step and initiate the conversation yourself. And so you have to walk up and you have to build the courage. And obviously you still want to position yourself correctly. And you, want to, you still look the part and, and speak the part, but you're going out there and you're starting the conversation. So what does that look like in regards to marketing? So inbound marketing is creating yourself to be so attractive to customers that they are coming to you. So how do you do that? Content marketing is huge. So just like we did with that, uh, that dance company is we created that valuable piece of content that their target market wanted. So they're like, oh, I'll trade you my contact information for that and so that's inbound marketing outbound another form of inbound marketing is search engine optimization is just going to where uh, they're looking which is search engines and being found being easily accessible that's that's attractive when someone's like oh man you're easy to find whenever I, I uh, am looking for whatever it is you know that you do outbound marketing those are forms of uh, so email marketing can can be outbound um, it's canvassing it's you know phone calls it's you uh, hitting people it's going on social media and reaching out to them it's you initiating a conversation and then again you still have to be valuable you still have to look attractive and look the, and speak the part and so that's what marketing is, is the uh, the attempt to start a conversation whereas advertising is all just about awareness start out as outward like you started out as outward and then afterward that's when people start coming to you Is yes it always like that? I think so so in uh, I knew from the beginning that I wanted to be to, uh, about inbound marketing, but I also knew that it was a longer, it, it's for the long time, it's, a, it's the long game. And so I, I was busy about creating content, but I didn't start to reap the benefits, just personally, I didn't start to reap the benefits of the content that I was creating for inbound marketing until probably year, year two. Uh, where so the, so yes the, the short answer to your question is yes I had to be about uh, outbound marketing more often now I wouldn't the reason why I'm kind of cautious about saying that is because I don't want it to sound like outbound marketing is in the beginning inbound marketing is in the long term you're always doing both it's just that it takes a little bit longer typically for your content to start to be valuable now we have worked with some clients to where we've created content and it was instant to where they started getting leads. And I work with a lot of companies or, or and, and know a lot of companies that are doing that. They'll put out a piece of content, they'll throw it on social media, they'll put some ad money towards it, and it's such a valuable piece of content that you know people are just attracted to it. And so there is that short-term uh, gain, but for, for me, it's all about creating as much valuable content for the long-term uh, and then as while well, simultaneously doing outbound marketing.